Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I'm playing Minecraft. This cow is, this cow thing is getting a little silly. It's really, it's like, oh my god, it's just a heaving mass of bovine in there. Is this chicken laying egg? Yeah, let's, uh, we're gonna grow this chicken farm one, uh, one egg at a time. One egg at a time. All right, all right, I gotta sleep. Let's not... Oh, that's so loud. Holy crap. A new Optifine version is available. I guess... I should have done that before I recorded. Oh, well. Oh, the peaceful... Wow. That's so nice. I almost don't want to walk over here because it's going to be... Yeah. So where does the cutoff end? Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, okay. Well, it's enough of that. Do I have music on, by the way? Have any of you heard... No, music is nice. I haven't... Let's turn the music on. There's... I... I... Hey, hey, get back in there. Hey, yeah, come on. Um. I shouldn't have turned the music off. Oh, wait. So, I wanna... We're gonna go caving again this episode. And, um... I want another diamond pick. <clears throat> I'm getting a little more cavalier with my picks, but I'm tired of having to bring so much stuff with me, so it is what it is. We'll find more diamonds. I, I hope we'll find more diamonds. I hope we'll find more diamonds. So we're gonna level 30 enchant this one. Hope we can use it to work. And it, it's got unbreaking. I'm looking for efficiency four, unbreaking three. That's what I want. This stupid efficiency three was such a waste. All right, here we go. Oh, nope, nope. Nope, let's do this first. Break my torches. Okay. Here we go. Bam! Well, it's better than efficiency three. I guess. And it has silk touch, so I don't have to bring my... Now... Now, uh... Let's hang on to... I'm gonna... T I don't remember it being this quiet. When I've been playing before. What... What's different? Is... It's so quiet! This is weird, okay. That's better. This sound of cows is better. I think... I think I'm gonna bring the unbreaking one with me, and I'm gonna hang on to this silk touch. Because it's not that good. But I don't want to use it up. And this one is meant to be used. This is a using. This pick is for using. So I think I think I'm gonna do that. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Um, and we want to enchant this sword. Oh, I gotta put the torches back. Man, I should have foreseen that. Okay, sword level one, sharpness cool. That's all I wanted to do. All I wanted to do, and we're gonna head on back to the cave. All right, going back in the front, front entrance. Why is it so quiet? I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, or if I changed my sound settings, or if something's going on here, if something's different, but it feels so quiet. So much more quiet than usual. Listen to that. There's nothing. There's nothing there. It's just silence. I guess, I mean, I can't think of what sounds would have been there instead. We're just in a cave. But, uh, that's weird. Okay, well, you guys let me know if that's weird or if I'm crazy. Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. I got all my cabin supplies. There's a skeleton somewhere. I have my bow this time. That was a huge mistake. Forgetting your bow in a cave is not a good thing to do. Okay, let's go down. We want to go down because we're looking for diamonds and we're so high up still. This this caving adventure was fun. It was a good idea. You know, because, hey, what? Is that fall damage? What? Where are they? Okay, they're probably up there. Keep going down. 
This caving adventure was good because one, we needed to, you know, we, we needed to clear out this cave because it was under our house. And also, you know, that's fine. But I really want diamonds and we're really too high for diamonds, which is a shame. We really got to get down there. Okay, let's uh, clear this. That's not going to work. Let's not do that. That's not going to do anything. Let's, um... Oh, crap. Is that going to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't spread. No, that's not what I wanted to do either. That's the source block. Put it there. Oh, this is dangerous. There we go. That's the source. Stop, please. I want to go behind you. That looks promising. I don't know what's up here. Emeralds? Oh, I wanted to... I definitely have been here before. This is familiar. We'll see. We'll see what's up. We'll see what's up. I'll silk touch these emeralds. Yeah, okay. This is a dead end. Why did I... What am I do? What did I do? Why did I do this? I left this stuff in this unexplored dead end? I guess it was for the silk touch. I can't remember what I did five minutes ago. Never mind a couple episodes ago when I was caving. Okay. Okay, so this is... Let's put another torch in there just so it doesn't make noises. And that's good. And this is all explored then. This... Oh, that's great. This pathway. We can block it. Oh, that's water. I need water. Okay. Whew. I don't want to waste that water. That would be a problem. Okay. Explored. Now, is this my cobble? I guess this is my cobble. Okay. What's, what's this way? We got a gravel. Blocking a cave? Is this a cave behind the gravel? That'd be awesome. It looks like it might be. We're down at diamond now. Down at diamond level. So the more... The more walls we can expose, the better. You know? Could be anywhere. Like like I illustrated with my, uh, my skeleton, skeleton grinder. There can be diamonds anywhere. Even right next to you. You know? Like this looks... This looks totally safe, but... Diamonds? 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 Diamonds anywhere? This is dirt. This is a totally dead end, but there could be diamonds here. Now, just for fun, I decided this is a fun thing to do because it's given us some interesting... It's given us some cool, uh, cool things, is when we find a dead end, we're just going to dig a stairway down to bedrock. Just to see... What there is to see. And in this case, it looks like there's bedrock to see. And some coal. Even, there's coal everywhere. This game is so full of coal. There's even coal down at bedrock. Okay, we got a... Uh, got some lapis. And I'll just do this straight in there. Hey, diamonds? Any diamonds? Got some redstone. Cool, cool. This is like quick and dirty... Quick and dirty branch mining. We're not doing too much, but we're like, hey, you know, where I get a feeling, hey, there's something here. Hey, there's something here. Let's go look there. But nothing. We got, we got, we got some ores. Uh, yeah, we got some ores. That's better than nothing. Okay, so this is explored now. We can block it off. Oh, wait. No, we can't. No, we can't. So this is, if you've been paying attention to my channel, which is totally f fair that you haven't because I don't look at anyone's channel pages when I YouTube. I watch a lot of videos on YouTube. Um, I watch videos at YouTube on YouTube at work almost all day. Not, not. I mean, I'm working. I promise. Especially if if any of you are Dave or Viva, if you're watching this, which I doubt. But uh, those are my 
co-workers slash sort of bosses. Um, oh, there's a dark spot. Um, I work at work, I promise, but I also... I happen to watch a lot of YouTube videos, because, like, in the corner of my screen. I don't know if anybody else does this. But it kind of... Sometimes it helps me focus when I have, like, someone just kind of talking in the background. So I, um... That's how I started, or when I started watching Let's Plays a lot. I was watching... Oh, that's the game music. I'm not used to that. Awesome. This is lovely. Um, I was watching Ultra Hardcore because it was awesome, like as a sport. But I really started watching Let's Plays a lot when I, at work, like when I was doing some kind of tedious task. I was like, all right, let me put on YouTube and see what there is to see. So that uh, that's kind of how I got started watching lots of Let's Plays. And uh, did I, so did I finish this area here? No, this is still... Oh, no, there's still more. Okay, let's do this now. Um, so anyway, I haven't... So if you uh, haven't been to my channel page recently, which is totally possible, and I wouldn't judge you or be upset about it for the reasons I just stated. Oh, I never stated the reason. Ha! <laughs> I started talking and just kind of went off. I only really see videos from my feed. I don't, I don't like go to people's channels and look at videos. I just see them in my feed and, and I watch them. I add them to my watch later. Whoa. I watch, I add them to my watch later list and then kind of, oh, this is, this is a bad idea. Oh, that was lucky. Um, and then I go through and watch them all like that. I never really watch them on their channel. So I never see anyone's channel, which is a shame because some people have some really cool stuff, like really cool channel pages. Some people like me. <laughs> I am um, really excited about it. I, I, um, oh, this looks great. I think we're going to do this, this episode. This is like really exciting and I really made a big deal of marking it. I hope I didn't let myself down. I, um, by the time this video comes out, it will have been last week, but I officially have a mascot now. I haven't named him or her, but it's a swordfish, appropriately, playing game, appropriately, and is so freaking cute. I love it. It's adorable, and I feel like it kind of fits the, the aesthetic, the the attitude that I'm going for with my channel, which is like, hey, isn't this fun? We're playing video games and we're having a great time. I hope everyone's having a great time. That kind of, that kind of happy, happy-go-lucky sort of, sort of attitude is really what I'm trying to go for in my videos. I hope I'm succeeding. Um, but it's a little swordfish with little headphones and a little mouse, and he's so happy and so excited, and I'm, I'm really, I love him. He's so cute. And so he's going to be my mascot going forward. I, uh, I integrated him into my banner, my channel banner, and um, he's my avatar on the socials, the social media platforms and everything. So that's really cool. And um, I'm really excited about that. So if you haven't been to my channel page in a while, I uh, check it out. There's a, there's a swordfish there now. I'm still using the same logo, the same text, the, um, the same Swordfish Plays text, the, like, kind of retro gamey thing that I have before. I, um, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to see if my, the person who illustrated my, uh, my Swordfish could do anything, but she's more of a character, character kind of person, which is totally fine. Everyone has their specialty. So I'm using, I'm still using the text that I made, which is fine, because I like it. I, I, I am, um, I am happy with, definitely happy with how that looks. I just, you know, it could be a little more professional, but, or a little, a little more polished, but that's fine. I like it. It's, it's, it's still got the, the right attitude. 
So, um, oh, here we go, something. Oh, this is a room. Hey, hey, I've been here. What are you? Um, but yeah, if you haven't been to the channel page in a while, check it out. And, uh, let me know what you think of the banner. Because I think it's really sweet. That's my, uh, I think my, my news of the day. I know, and it's old news, I know. But, um, just in case you haven't seen it. I did that, I uploaded that and, and set all that stuff up last weekend while I was sitting in the airport for four hours, which is not an exciting experience. I, um, went to a wedding last weekend. It's my girlfriend's, one of my girlfriend's best friends from high school got married, and it was super fun, but I had to fly down to North Carolina, which is fine, and I don't, I don't mind flying. I don't have to do a lot of it, which probably is part of the reason why I don't mind flying, but um, it was fine. The trip down there was delayed a little bit because of weather, and man, it happens. Um, but the trip back was not fun. So we left. We were hanging out at the bride's house after the wedding. Or the wedding was Saturday, so this is Sunday. We flew back Sunday. We were hanging out at the bride's house, just chilling, you know, watching TV, talking about stuff before we had to fly back. We left her house at 2.45. Our flight was at 4.30. Okay? We left at 2.45. This was not a good, not a good staircase. We got to the airport at like 3.15. Which is a little early, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, we got to the airport at like 3.15. We went through security. Totally fine, because we're not stupid. And, um... We're not stupid, and we're... I'm the most harmless-looking white guy in history. And that probably doesn't hurt my chances. Um... And we got to the terminal at like 3.45. Small airport, not a lot of security. <laughs> um, they announced... This is going to be the slowest story ever. They announced um, that... Wait, I just want to make sure... Okay, I think I did this whole section. They announced at like 4 o'clock that there was a, a mechanical issue with the plane and that they had to have maintenance come look at it before we could take off. It's okay. You know, that's kind of annoying, but I'd like my planes to be uh, safe, not have mechanical issues, so, okay. A couple, like a half hour later, they said, the delay is going to be something like this, not verbatim, but the delay is going to be longer than expected because due to the holiday weekend, this is Labor Day weekend, due to the holiday weekend, none of the maintenance, there are no maintenance people at the airport. All of maintenance had off for the weekend. What? 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 How do you have an airport? An airport with huge flying mechanical airplanes that are very complicated and very expensive and have a tendency to break sometimes? How do you have an airport running with no maintenance people on a holiday weekend? I realize holiday weekend, I, I totally understand the airport workers have to have off for the holiday. That's absolutely fine. I totally understand that, but somebody needs to be there. You can't just, did I just jump back down to the hole that I was in? I did. Oh, maybe not. Somebody has to be there. Like, you know, pay super overtime or something. So they had to fly a new plane to the airport to get, you know, for us to take. And then by the time the new plane got there, it was like six o'clock. And then there was a thunderstorm. <laughs> and then by the time the thunderstorm cleared up, there was a thunderstorm at LaGuardia where we were flying into. So we had to wait for that thunderstorm to clear up because they wouldn't take off because of the thunderstorm at LaGuardia. So we didn't end up taking off until like eight o'clock, eight, eight ish, eight fifteen, something like that. This is a four thirty flight. So we took off around eight o'clock. 
We were in the air for an hour because that's how long it takes to fly to New York from North Carolina. We were in the air for an hour and landed. Now, that's not that fun, right? Like, totally. But it happens. The thing, the kicker to this for me is that I tend to, I like, I guess I was up here. I like driving places. Um, now, this particular situation, I wouldn't have driven anyway because I would have had to take an extra day off on work and I didn't want to do that. But, so I already explored this, right? Just make sure I know where I'm going. Um, it takes an it takes eight hours to drive from New York to Raleigh, or from Raleigh to New York. It took seven and a half hours to get back to New York from Raleigh. Why did I do this? What? It took seven and a half hours to get back to New York from Raleigh. So basically, we could have driven there. We could have driven home. Now, that's sort of a silly stat, but uh, it really, it says to me, this was a very slow flight. Other than that, the wedding was awesome. It was really fun. But uh, it's not not always good storytelling to say, hey, this was great, and everything went off without a hitch. You know? Plus, people hate airports. People like complaining about airports. And I understand why. Oh, there's lava there. Oh, this is dangerous. I'm right under a lava lake and some skeletons. There's something here. Let's, uh, let's find it. Let's find it. Are they... I hear them. What direction are they? Are they this way? Sounds like we're closer. Okay. Wrestle again. Oh, it sounds like up. Oh, boy. Lava could be doing porn down here any second. That sounds like it's to my right. That didn't. This... Hey, wait. Where are you? Hey! Is this my spawner again? Did I just find my spawner? No. What I find? I found... A cave that I've already been in? Okay. Where are we now? Well, I had... Hmm. You know what? I'm kind of proud of that. It wasn't the most useful thing to find. Where are those? Now, is this my spawner? Sure is a lot of skeletons. Based on all this cobble, seems like it might be. No, this isn't. This is just a wall I blocked off. Oh, hi! Oh my god. And now I'm back to the same place again. Well... It's okay. Walk in a big circle. That's fine. That's fine. So this is a big circle. So I can... Right? That was all that was there? Yeah, I just dug around and... Alright, I must have a dark spot. But, uh, you know what? It doesn't really matter because I'm getting to be finished with this part of the cave. Really, like... I think I explored all that now. Hey, what? Where are you? Where are you? Oh my god. Oh my god. Where is he coming from? I don't care. Let's get out of here. You know what? Are those stairs? These stairs? Where Where am I? How do I get home? That's home. This is explored. This is home. Let's go home. Let's go towards home. And we can block off this. Oh! Hello, creeper! Oh, Nelly. Oh, God, that's the same place. <laughs> I keep walking in circles. I keep walking in circles. Oh, my God. Wine. Okay, that's that. That's where I came from, right? Did I come from here? Where did I come from? I got, just got turned around again. This is quote-unquote forward this is where I came from so this is done up here that's not done though but that's up and I don't really want to go up 
this is finished. Let's call this... Oh, dark spot. Is this... This is the same cave. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not make that mistake a hundred times. This is the same cave. Okay, we've been here. I'm not... But I can't ignore it. There's all this beautiful cave up there. I can't... Even if it's not diamond level, I feel like I gotta explore it at least a little bit. So let's... Here's some iron. I got the iron. There's zombies for sure. Oh boy, the other... Oh, that's like right here. Where are you? Oh, we're gonna play this game again, aren't we? Oh no, I hate this game. The where the hell are those noises coming from game. Oh, okay, well right in front of me is, that's fine. Okay. Ah, ah, oh, okay, okay, they're coming from up there, I guess. That was, the, oh boy. Oh golly gee willikers. Um, is that, let's not jump, let's just look at it. Oh wait, what's, where are we? This is, I've been here. Where? Where did? Is this a to be explored wall? Is there a spawner? Or is this just a lot of skeleton? A lot of zombies? Wait, let's not get let's not get confused. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, 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 I wasn't <laughs> noises, noises. Let's block this off. Slow caving. We're going slow caving. Here we go. Go here first. I know the stuff there. There's a bunch of zombies. They may or may not be spawning from a spawner. They might just be lots of zombies. Is there anything here exciting? Goes back down. That's good. This is a terrible idea what I'm doing right now. I don't want to ever do this. What am I doing? There's something else here. I hear skeletons. I want spawners and dungeons and stuff. I want fun. I'm looking for fun in this cave. This is not a fun cave. Not a fun cave. Let's do the old... Now, we're up kind of high, so this might... This has the potential to find us some stuff, right? Now that we're at a dead end, we have our new policy. Our new policy of... Dead end, mine down to bedrock. Just because, you know, there might be stuff here. Now we're off in a different area of the cave, I think. We may have doubled back on ourselves. Maybe. Maybe, but maybe not. There's skeletons around. This is a cave that I have not explored before because there's unbroken lava. Now... I'm gonna get shot, like, right now. Should I just do it? Just do it. Whatever, just do it. Oh, we're at diamond level? Oh, this is gorgeous, kind of. There's skeletons right here, so there's another cave. Since I don't see them, there's gotta be another cave. Somewhere. Oh, this is pretty. And it just so happens that we're nearing the end of this episode. Haha! -ha. Nothing like promise! Promise for another episode. Alright, that's gonna... I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna save this one for next time, so... Oh, that's perfect timing. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate you spending a little of your time with me, with little old swordfish, playing our little old video games. Um... I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give it a like. The likes really help me out. They they grow the channel. They tell me what you like and what you don't like, and I'll, you know, you know, you know the drill. If you want to see more videos, I um would love it, totally love it. If you would subscribe to my channel, that'll get them right to your activity feed. You can get emails. You can make me feel good about my my number. You know all those. Ah, 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 okay. Let's not talk and dig at the same time. Oh boy, do that. Do the subscribe, like it, subscribe. 
Oh, breathe. Breathe. I'll see you guys in the next video. And we will see what's over there. And what's over there. And what's over there. And maybe what's that way. There's skeletons somewhere. Where are they? We're going to find out in the next episode. See you guys later. Bye-bye.